got a former, you know, African American champion over there in Rashad. Have you guys had conversations about other you know, things you brought to light in the media as of late? Oh yeah, me and Rashad talk all the time. You know, before I was a champion, um, you know, even to this day, I still look up to Rashad quite a bit. He's one of my good friends. You know, when I got into the sport, he was one of the guys that I looked up to, and the reason why I got into the sport, I'm like, man, I remember her from college. He was at Michigan State Wrestling Nation competing against us. At that time, he was only one weight class above, so you know, I saw him quite a bit, and um, I just love. Loved his way to the top. And I watched him fight the right fights at the right time. And he became the champion. I'm like, man, that's the route I want to take. Well, that, considering the first fight with Wonder Boy went to withdraw, do you feel like that, that extra pressure to go out there and put a statement by getting the finish of the fight? No, you know, it's just it's, I just need to go out there and do a little bit more. You know, um, if I would have done a little bit more in that fight in each round, I would have won hands down. I wouldn't have lost a round if I did, you know, two or three more combinations in two, three, and five. You know, I would have swept the entire fight. And the last time we saw, you know, you kind of kept something under wraps for most of the time until, you know, fight week and about training with Raymond Daniels. Is there anybody else that you kind of brought in that you haven't really talked about? No, last time I only got a couple weeks with Sage North Cut. This time I got six plus weeks with him. I got a couple weeks with a kid named Avery Plowden, who's a current world champion in point fight now. You know, he's, he's going at it with Raymond Daniels. Uh, I have more time with Raymond Daniels, more time with my boxing coach, Wildcard Boxing. And also, um, I had a couple other kids that are in the sport variety realm. And I just became really comfortable with different styles because we've seen one style from Wonder Boy, but I'm pretty sure it's just like wrestling. I can wrestle a lot of different styles of wrestling. So me having that variation also helped me be prepared. Right, you know what? Back to the you know the racial tension thing. How's your relationship with the UFC perhaps been? Is it is it strained, you know, your relationship with Dana White? How's it been, you know, especially coming into this fight? No, my relationship with my relationships, man, I think that people are sometimes cautious on asking me certain questions. I mean he's not gonna be, he's gonna try to get right to it, but some people are worried about what I'm gonna say. They're worried like, are they gonna get tired on one? Is he gonna pop off? But man, if you don't like the truth, don't ask me a question. Because all I'm gonna do is say the truth. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fabricate anything or bring anything that's not factual or don't have any merit behind it. I'm just saying true and true and honest things that people don't like the truth sometimes. And sometimes you know you're more open about it versus other times. I mean what's the reason, you know, sometimes you see on mic, sometimes you're a little bit more reserved and talking about these things. Is, is it just the arena that you're in at that time or is it I'm in fight mode man. I'm about to fight this week so you know the best thing I can do to prove my point is going out there and win. If I lose, I lose my platform. I, I can't speak as loud. I can't. I can't speak to as many people as I can as a champion. So my focus has to shift primarily on winning, doing it in a dominant fashion, and put myself in position to continue my reign. Yeah. Yeah. Would you would.